Hey Freunde, ich bin's Benedikt vom Juwelier Alter. Herzlich willkommen bei diesem Video, herzlich willkommen bei diesem speziellen Besuch heute hier in Paris. Wir sind in der Grand Seiko Boutique in Paris Vendôme und haben einen ganz, ganz besonderen Gast dabei, Frederik. Herzlich willkommen, Frederik. Es ist das herzliche Willkommen nach Paris. <lacht> Merci beaucoup de accueillir nous ici à Paris. Avec grand plaisir. Äh, herzlich willkommen, vielen lieben Dank. Wir sind heute hier und haben ein paar Fragen mitgebracht, um, äh, um dich besser kennenzulernen. Und äh, wir werden das Interview in Englisch machen, damit wir äh, entspannt vorankommen. Ihr werdet dann Subtitles sehen. Also ganz entspannt. Lasst uns loslegen mit der ersten Frage. Frederik, tell us a little bit about you and your role and your position at Grand Seiko. I joined Grand Seiko for six months ago. Um, Grand Seiko decided to, um, Seiko Company decided to create Grand Seiko Europe. Uh, for a couple of you now and um, uh, in this um, uh, vision I joined the group um, and created Grand Seiko Europe on the 1st of April this year. Uh, the basic aim of the, um, of the mission is uh, to uh, streamline the distribution of Grand Seiko in Europe and obviously to boost the market. Grand Seiko in general is a very a relatively young watch company but it has very strong ideas and values. What would you describe those ideals and values to be like? The basic um, values to, to me for Grand Seiko are very much um, based on the three mottos of the brand, which was created in uh, 1960. Precision, beauty, and obviously, uh, which is important for, for a watch, the manufactural aspect of the, of the watch. And... Um, an important brand value to me is the honesty towards our customers. Honesty in a, is always very, very valuable to the customer. I really appreciate that. Um, one thing that I found in my research was that Grand Seiko set out to build the best watch possible for their customers. They were looking to have the, build the king of watches. Um, how do you see that in, in the watches and what would you say to that? The emblem of the symbol of the Grand Seiko watches are the lion. Uh, lion, which is actually uh, the king of the forest. <laughs> yeah. um, the Japanese were willing to, to make the best watches possible. So they were actually taking the semantic of the, the king, uh, as a, the lion as a king, to compare as a, the king of the watches. That's why the lion are very much the emblem on the back side of the watches. Yeah. Beautiful. I, I, every watch, jede Uhr hat auf der Rückseite im Glasboden den, den Löwen aufgedruckt. Um, wenn ihr die Möglichkeit habt, so eine Grand Seiko mal umzudrehen und da zu sehen, ihr werdet immer den Löwen, den King of Watches sehen. Wunderschön. Um, the community greatly appreciates those values and I think Grand Seiko has a very clear identity, um, but also the design language. So it brings an aspect that not many brands have in the watch community, in the watch space. Um, where do you think the design language from Grand Seiko comes from? The motto of the brand is uh, uh, the nature of time. All the details, the hands, the indexes, the facetage, the polishing of the case, everything is made with a certain sense of aesthetism, um, which makes Grand Seiko's product very different and very particular. This is very much inspired of the Japanese nature. If you consider the current collection, there is a lot of pieces coming from uh, uh, the uh, some, some special US pieces, for example, the Four Seasons that we may see uh, later on, uh, very much inspired of uh, the, the nature. Um, that's uh, one of the particular aspects of uh, the brand, but not only. So getting inspired by nature, I really like that. I mean, most people probably know the snowflake, which is, as we know, outside of the watch studio, the, the ice on the top of the mountain, really, really nice. Um, but do you have a favorite model? You just mentioned a few. Do you have a favorite model out of the current collection? When I first uh, discovered the collection, uh, I went to uh, the Seiko Boutique in Paris, Rue Bonaparte. And there was actually um, something like 50 to 60, to 60 um, different pieces where, which were actually displayed. One came very much out of uh, the others. It was um, the SBGW231, which is uh, one I'm wearing today. Um, this is, to me, exactly what GS is all about. Beauty, precision, and 
craftsmanship. And how does the word, the Japanese word takumi relate to that? Oh, it's a very interesting question um, and very, uh, very uh, deep one. Takumi, this is a very special thing in the Japanese culture. It means um, artisan, I would say in French. Um, what's the best thing that a man can do um, in terms of work? This is actually, he can think, but to create, you can create actually with both things, your brain and your, your hands. Consider that in Japan there is something like not even 50 uh, watchmakers able to create a Grand Seiko watch. 25 in, uh, in Moyoka uh, for all the, the manual and mechanical movement, and 21 or 30 uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, Nagano for the spring drive and the, the quartz watches. I mean that each piece is which come out of the factories, of the manufacturers, are unique. You know, we are with, uh, with Grand Seiko producing a couple of dozen of a thousand of watches only. I mean that, you know, the resource to create, the know-how of creating such a watch is rare. So this rarity, this is our luxury, and this is what we are actually offering to our customers. And to come back to, 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 to this Takumi, It's not a question of money, just a question of transmission of know-how. It's just a gift that you give to somebody because to an extent, this is the worst of it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's just the fact to know how to transform it. And there is no marketing or no um, um, merchandising uh, values in this transformation as a base. So this is an important message to be conveyed by Grand Seiko. My next question would have been or would be um, if someone is looking to spend consider considerable money on a watch, getting a nice timepiece, why do people decide to go for a Grand Seiko? I think you pretty much already answered that, but would you like to add something? If you buy something, it means that you can consider... Um, the reflection of yourself in what you are buying because um, it will please you and it's a part of you for the future. And even though it's a part of your patrimony for the future. For me, I would choose a true um, product which reflects my values and which explain also different things of the beauty of life, of the craftsmanship, of the Takumi. I think... Um Everyone who gets to experience the watches and please come to us, kommt zu uns. Natürlich schaut vorbei. Wir haben die Uhr natürlich da und zeigen euch gerne und erzählen ein bisschen was zur Geschichte. Genau das, was Frederik gerade erklärt hat. Um, also wir haben, we, we have 60 years birthday this year. What makes you the most excited about the 60 years to come? The next cycle of life of Grand Seiko? I'm already thinking about the next generation, the future generation. My children, your children, um, uh, I've made my life, you know. Uh, I'm just um, thinking of what I can do to make their life um, more interesting, more um, uh, tasteful, more uh, valuable. What I'm trying to do with Brand Seiko and with this beautiful brand, um, it's to prepare uh, the distribution and the marketing and the brand Uh, image and awareness for the next generation. Yes, this is my what actually makes me uh, happy today. Cool. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time. Um, I think we will check out some novelties right now as well, if you uh, have some more time. But for now, I'm going to say thank you very much. Pleasure. Danke fürs Einschalten und schaut euch auf jeden Fall das nächste Video an. Wir gucken uns jetzt ein paar Neuheiten von Grand Seiko an. Bis dann. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao.